Welcome to Big Ass Fans Technical Support. We're here to help. In this video, we will show you how to test voltage on your i6, ES6, and Haiku Gen 4. You will need a ladder, a metric Allen key set, a Phillips head screwdriver, and an AC-DC voltmeter. First, remove your light kit or lower cover per the install guide to reveal the smart board located here. Next, we will test DC voltage. If you have an i6 or ES6, test here. If you have a Haiku Gen 4, test here. Pause this video if you need to see the test points in more detail. If you get 24 volts here, you are getting proper power to the fan and your issue is likely related to something else. Fill out a support form on our website and we will help you troubleshoot your fan. Once you've tested DC voltage at this point, document it and we will continue. Next, we will test underneath the smart board. Cut power to the fan and remove the three screws holding the smart board in place. These will be a number two metric Allen key on the i6 and ES6 and a Phillips for the Haiku Gen 4. Unplug the connector and set the smart board aside. Reapply power to the fan. On the i6 and ES6, test voltage at pins one and two pictured here. On the Haiku, test DC voltage where the motor plugs into this board pictured here. After testing, document the voltage reading, cut power, and reassemble the fan. The following two steps will only apply to the ES6 and Haiku Gen 4. If you have an I6, skip ahead. On the Haiku and ES6, we will test voltage at the bottom of the down tube to make sure power is getting to the motor housing of the unit. With power still cut to the fan, unplug the wiring at the bottom of the down tube. If you have an uplight, unplug this wire. Turn on power, and we will test DC voltage on the wiring coming through the down tube. Document your voltage reading, cut power, and we'll plug everything back in. Next, remove the canopy cover by taking out these four Phillips head screws. Slide the canopy cover to the bottom of the down tube. Cut power and unplug the power supply from the down tube wiring. Turn power back on and we'll test DC volts here, just like we did before. Document the value, cut power, and plug everything back in. Leave the canopy cover uninstalled for now. Next, we will test the incoming house wiring. This will be AC voltage, so be sure to properly set your voltmeter before you proceed. Here are the common wiring color associations for residential house wiring. If you are not familiar with this, contact technical support and we can guide you through the testing process or contact a local electrician or handyman so they can assist you. Here, we will collect three values. First, test the hot wire to the ground wire. Next, test the hot wire to the neutral wire. Next, test the neutral wire to the ground wire. Document the three AC values. If you have a high Q or ES6, you have tested all available points. If you have an I6, there is one other spot to reference on your fan. The connection between the down tube wiring and your fan's motor is located inside the down tube. To check this connection, you may need to uninstall the fan. If you test voltage here, note that you will be testing AC voltage. Take the results you documented and contact Big Ass Fans Technical Support. Still having trouble? Fill out a support form on our website at bigassfans.com support form.